In this section of training, we want to talk about how to process prepayments for sales orders. So the first thing that we need to do is to create the sales order. Then we're going to assign a prepayment percentage that we want the customer to prepay before we ship the order. The next thing it will do is post the invoice for the prepayment amount. Then we'll go in and apply their prepayment once they've sent their check in against the prepayment invoice. We will ship and invoice the sales order and then post and print the invoice. And the prepayment will show up as a negative amount on a separate line on the invoice. So we'll go right to Business Central and see how we uh, process a sales order with prepayments. So I'm going to navigate to sales orders. And to save a little bit of time, I've already created a sales order out here that we can use. I've created this sales order 1011. So I'm just going to open this up. And I'm selling this to the Canon Group. And it's an item 1000. It's a bicycle. And these are worth 4000 bucks a piece. Very expensive bicycle. So my total invoice here is for $8,000. And if I go down towards the bottom of the page, I have an area down here for prepayments. So let's assume that I want a 20% prepayment on this. I can simply enter in 20% here. And it says you have modified the prepayment percentage. Do you want to update the lines? I'm going to say yes. And this has now gone out and set me up so that I will be able to uh, create an invoice for that prepayment of 20% or $1,600 to this uh, customer and set this up so that we can actually take a prepayment on it. So I'm going to click on Actions, Posting, Prepayments down at the bottom of this. And then I can either post a prepayment invoice or I can post and print the prepayment invoice. I'm going to just post this because I'm not really hooked up to a printer and it wouldn't do us too much good anyway. So I'm simply going to go out and post this as do we want to post the prepayment? I'm going to say yes. And the system has now created the prepayment invoice for us. So I'm going to go out and take a look at my customer ledger entries here for a moment. And if I go to the customer area here, get my customer list view and open up customer 10,000. I can navigate to history ledger entries and this invoice that's on the very top here, it says prepayment invoice for order number 10111 for $1,600. So it has indeed created my prepayment invoice for me. And now I can take the cash receipt when that, when that uh, customer pays the invoice. So I'll close up the ledger entries and close up the customer card here. And I'm going to leave the sales order open, but I'm going to go to a cash receipts journal. And in the cash receipts journal, what I want to do is record a customer payment here. So this is going to be a payment. The document number is self-assigned. It's from a customer. It's from customer 10,000. The Canon Group. Now, to make my life fairly easy here, what I can do is go to the balancing account. is going to be a bank account. And I select the bank that I'm going to put the money in. And then I can move over to the Applies to Doc Number field here. And I can just select my document number. So what I want to do is I want to look at these in a descending order because this is the one that I just created for the $1,600. And if you notice, it has a $32 discount amount on it because they have a, a 2%, I think 2% 8 days that's available. So if I just say OK to this, this will bring in the amount of the payment that they're actually making. So this is the amount of the actual cash that's being brought in. The document is set up here with a balancing uh, of zero. So I know that this will actually post for me. So 
So I'm uh, simply going to go to post and I could post and print this transaction. I'm just going to post it. it says, do you want to post the journal lines? I say yes. And it says the journal line was successfully posted. So we now have received our customer's prepayment for this and we can process the order. So I'm going to close the cash receipts journal and I'm going to reopen my sales order again. And when I look at this sales order, what's interesting here is that uh, there, there are no other lines. The only line that I have here is the item line that I have on this. But once I post it now, during the posting process, Business Central will add another line for this that actually shows the prepayment amount for us. So I'm uh, in a uh, the blue warehouse here. This is not warehouse enabled. So for this particular order, I can go out and release the order. So I'm going to release this. And then I can go to posting. And I can post the order itself directly. And I can ship an invoice or I can ship either one. I'm going to do both of them at the same time here. So it says the order is posted with number 103041, move to the posted sales invoices. Do you want to open the posted invoice? I'm going to say yes. And what I want to do now is, if you notice, there's a GL account line here. So the GL account line is for the $1,600. So what I'm going to do now is simply uh, print this so we can view the invoice itself and preview it. So I see my bicycle in here for $8,000. I see a separate line says customer prepayment, non-taxable for $1,600. And so I, I actually have now created this invoice for the amount that we really want to take the prepayment for and show it to my customer.